Hey there, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share what I've created for the open collab hashtag deck the year. Now this collab is in its eighth week and um, we are to share um, an altered playing card. So we're to take any card out of the deck every week and alter the face of the card. So it is a super fun collab. Since we're in week eight, this happened to come up on my deck, but um, I usually do a quick shuffle and I pick a card, a random card every week. And at the end of 52 weeks, we will have altered all the cards in the deck. So it's such a fun collab. I love being able to participate. Please be sure to follow the hashtag and jump in and see all the creators that are altering a playing card. Now, as you know, a playing card is actually the same size as an artist trading card. So what you can do after you have altered your cards is you can trade them, you can send them in happy mail, you can save them, you can add them to pocket letters, which is fun. Um, you know, I have a little box that I'm adding all mine to because I'm very anxious to kind of go through them at the end of the year and see the different ways that I've altered the face of the card. Anything that you'd like to do to the card to make it your own, um, stamping, stenciling, painting, um, using your scraps, washi, uh, it's just so much fun. And of course, you know, leaving this side untouched, of course you could alter both sides, I guess, but if you're gonna use it as an artist trading card, you wanna be able to add your information in on the back so that when you send it off, your recipient will have um, your information and then maybe some information about um, the challenge. Or in my case, I add the date along with what the card is that I've altered. So in this case, with it being a three of hearts, I would indicate that it was a three of hearts and the date for the um, date of the challenge. So just so much fun. Um, and so great to be able to see everyone's style and the way that they alter their cards. So let's get into it and I'll show you the card that I altered for this week. Now before I show you my card, I wanted to show you some of the supplies that I used. Firstly, I used this beautiful stencil from the Tim Holtz collection and this is called Lace. And it's absolutely gorgeous, so I really wanted to use that. Um, I used some Distress Oxides in Squeeze Lemonade, one of my very favorite seedless preserves, and Tattered Rose. And I did a very dark card last week. It was almost forest and, you know, kind of an evening-inspired forest scene, and it was dark. So I wanted to do a lighter card this week, and so I selected these Distress Oxides to blend in with that stencil. And then I brought in my acrylic paint pen for some additional, um, not really splatter, but dots on through the stencil. Um, and then, of course, I used a little bit of stickles and I also used some rhinestones because I really love that look on the cards. So let's get into it and I'll show you my card. So here's a look at my card for this week. Uh, now I did the background in that squeeze lemonade and then I laid the stencil down and used the pick raspberry and the tattered rose. I had this die cut in my stash um, and it mirrors a lot of the same colors, so I wanted to add that. Now this is a sentiment from Heidi Swap. It says, bloom, verb, to flourish or thrive. So it's a little definition sentiment that I thought was really perfect because it's sort of a flower background and the die cut is a flower. And then I just added some gemstones along with the stickles for that glitter that I love on all my cards. So um, it's a very different look from the card last week, and that was what I was going for. Now this, of course, is the nine of spades, and I always date the back, and I leave the rest blank because that way I can just add my information on a sheet when I go to send this out. 
So that's my altered playing card for this week. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at that. Now let's get the deck out. We'll shuffle and cut the deck and I'll choose my card for next week. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the deck and we'll see what card I'll be altering for next week. And it is the Nine of Diamonds. So that's my card for next week. And I hope you will follow my channel so you see how I decide to decorate the face of this card. Please be sure to follow the hashtag Deck the Year so you can see all the collaborators that are participating. Thanks again to Penny for hosting. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.